Into Pentium is dead. Well, technically it's been dead for like almost two decades, but now it's officially dead. Seeing how both Pentium and Celeron were being kept alive as in-house names for the most basic and budget of SKUs. But that is no longer the case, because those names have been officially retired and Intel instead tried to replace them with something that will make more sense. They tried, but failed. Because the brand new naming scheme for these very budget CPUs is going to be Intel Processor. No, that's not a joke. They're literally going to be called Intel Processor. So, a full SKU name could be something like Intel Processor 200G. Yeah. Intel, what are you doing? I thought this was about making names simpler, so who would have thought that this would be a good idea? So now you're going to have Intel Processor and Intel Core SKUs? I just really don't know what to say to that. I haven't heard a name so bad in quite a while. Well, okay, Asus are about to release a motherboard that has Extreme in a name twice, but still. But even that pales in comparison to whatever atrocity happened here. Like seriously, who on your naming department thought that naming your processors Intel processor to distinguish them from your Intel core SKUs is going to be a good idea? Because clearly, whatever you're paying them, it's way too much. So when Intel Raptor comes out and you're going to hear people talking about Intel processors, keep in mind they're going to be talking about these very budget SKUs and not Intel processors in general. Yeah, I told you it's going to get confusing. But let me know down in the comments below what you would have picked as a better replacement name and we'll see who creates the best name possible. And the winner of this little competition will be able to claim the grand prize of being able to say they're smarter than some of the people at Intel. But anyway, let me know what you think of this weird move down below and hey, while we're still here, why not support the channel on Patreon because, well, YouTube clearly isn't paying us enough. And I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Justin Rage, Elefroniak, LKB, Next Summoner, Shane Woodcroft, Lansby and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much, support truly goes a long way. Down here you can find our merch store, our Discord server and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, goodbye.